Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Sayyid Ali Mardan Azmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will discuss how we can calculate area of a given region with the help of double integrals. For this, for this purpose, we will learn exercise 15.3, question number 7 in this lecture. The statement of problem is sketch the region bounded by the given line and curves, then express region areas and try to double integral and evaluate the integral. In question number 7, the curves given to us are the parabolas x is equal to y square and x is equal to 2y minus y square. In order to solve this question, in order to learn this concept, first of all, we must know what is the formula for area of region with the help of double integrals. This is the formula. Double integral over the region R, dA will give you area of a particular region R. And dA is a small patch of that closed particular area. Now, x is equal to y square is a parabola which is open rightward, symmetric about x-axis and touches only origin. This is a standard parabola. Edge graph look like this. In the next step, we will plot the second parabola, x is equal to 2y minus y square. Now, this parabola, x is equal to 2y minus y square, is open leftward. Please note that in the equation of parabola, if the coefficient of square term is negative, then it is open leftward. So this negative sign in this equation, x is equal to y minus y square, this negative sign indicates that our parabola is symmetric about x axis, but it is open leftward. If this sign is positive, then parabola is open rightward. And this parabola has intersect with coordinate axis as x equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 and 2. If In this equations, if you put y equal to 0, you will get value of x equal to 0. And in this equation, if you put x equal to 0, you will get the value of y as 0 and plus 2. These are the simple steps. And in the next step, we have plotted the parabola with red color. x is equal to 2y minus y square. And these are the points of intersection. And this is our required region of integration. In the next step, we will highlight the region of integration and we will calculate this point of intersection of the parabola because one point of intersection is very clear, which is origin, but we have to calculate the accurate value of this second point of intersection. So for this purpose, we will solve the equation of parabola simultaneously using equation number one and two. From equation number one, we will substitute the value of x which is equal to y square in equation number two. So we have y square is equal to 2y minus y square. Shifting all the terms on the left side and sim after simplification, we get 2y square minus 2y equal to zero. When this y minus y square go on the other side, it become positive and y square and y square become positive and the sign of 2y become negative. In the next step, we will take 2y common. So we have y minus one, now, if the product of two terms is equal to zero, either first equal to zero or second equal to zero, from here, we will get the values of y as zero or y equal to one. In the next step, we will substitute these values in equation number one to get the corresponding values of x. So we get the value of x as zero and value of x equal to one. If you put y equal to zero here, you will get x equal to zero. And if you put x equal to one, in equation number one, you will get x equal to one. So the point of intersection, one point of intersection is zero, zero, which is origin. And the other point of intersection is one, one. After calculating the point of intersection, we will evaluate the area of this region. Now, please note that in this question, we have the curves as parabolic curves in which the value of x is given in the form of y. And it is difficult to transform this equation in the form of y. So the best choice in this question for inner variable and outer variable is x as inner variable and y as outer variable. Again, listen very carefully. In this question, our limits are, are of parabolas. The value of x in this case, look here, x is equal to y square. The value of x is y square. So it is difficult to transform y as a single term in the form of y. So because if you take the square root, you will get the value of y as plus x and minus x. Similarly, in from the second equation, it is difficult to transform the value of y in the form of x. So the best choice is 
we should take x as our inner variable. So for this purpose, we will use arrow technique. We will pass a horizontal arrow from left to right through our region. This arrow is n2 through the boundary is x is equal to y square and exit through the boundary. And exit through the boundary, x is equal to y minus y square. So the limits of lower limit is y square for x and the upper limit for x is 2y minus y square. Similarly, for outer variable, we will always check the range of variable along that, along that particular axis. So along y axis, the range of regions start from 0 and end at 1. So the limits of y are 0 to 1. In the next step, we will perform the integration. Integration simple. The integration of dx is x. For the limits y square to 2y minus y square. In the next step, we have applied fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit. In the next step, making the simplification, y square and y square become minus 2y square. In the next step, we will perform, we have performed the integration. The integration of y is y square over 2, and integration of y square is y cube over 3. In the next step, we will perform the simplification. And after this, we will apply a fundamental theorem of calculus to calculate these limits, upper limit minus lower limit. For upper limit, we have replaced each term with 1. And for lower limit, when we replace each term with 0, we have 0. So after calculation, we get the answer of area as 1 over 3. So here we completed our lecture. Please like, subscribe, and share my channel with other fellows so that they can also get the maximum benefit. Allah Hafiz.